My name is Sean Matthews, President and CEO of Visit. Today I'm here to demonstrate the advancements we've made in our goal of turning any sign into an interactive sign just by talking to it. So the layout we have in front of us is pretty common. You might find this on a corporate or college campus anywhere in the world. And typically there are interactive elements in a design like this that allow you to interact with the sign for the purpose of learning more about the environment that you're in. And Today, instead of touching these interactive elements, I'm simply going to have the same engagement by talking to the sign. So, for example, I want to know what it's like outside. So I might say, show me the weather. And of course, the sign responds to those commands by showing me the weather. Later on, I might find myself hungry, and I might say, show me today's menu. And of course, the sign responds by showing me today's menu. Later on, I find myself a little lost in this building and I want to know where certain things are on which floors. So I might say, show me the directory. And of course, then the sign responds by showing me the directory. Now, for those of you that follow us, you'll recall that we introduced a very similar technology uh, to this in uh, June of 2019. And that technology was based on the Google Chrome kit and its speech recognition kit. Well, after you know, developing that and furthering conversations with our clients, it became clear that there was a lot of cost associated with the development of the interaction up front, plus maintaining that interaction over time. So what we decided to do is take advantage of the speech recognition capabilities already built into the Windows 10 operating system on which our engaged media player runs. So in this particular case, a designer might build the layout we were looking at earlier and set it up with a series of slides that have elements on them. And so on this slide design, we add our voice recognition widget, which allows the user to configure the triggers and how the display will respond to those commands. So in this particular case, for example, we see the one related to uh, the menu, show me the menu, show me today's menu, show me a menu. And then of course the action or the response to that trigger is what it's supposed to do, which is show us the slide, which is, includes the menu. The advantage of this technology is it's free because it's built into the operating system and because it's built in, it doesn't require any internet connection to any sort of AI servers anywhere in the world. So it can be deplete, completely detached and you not have to worry about that service. So you might be asking like, really what does it take to make this work? Well, at a minimum, what you're gonna need is a Visix media player and of course, this media player has to be connected to the sign itself. It does not have to be a touch screen. And of course, then you're going to need some way to communicate with that display audibly. So you're going to need some sort of um, all-in-one microphone solution or some sort of microphone solution engineered by an AV integrator to maybe deal with the environmental conditions or background noises that you might find in that environment. So again, our goal is to turn any display into an interactive display just by talking to it. If you want to learn more about how we're making this happen, just come out and visit, visit us at visix.com. Thank you.